there, my name is Alexa and I am guessing that from the video description you already kind of know what we are doing because yeah, I'm finally going to vacation. It is a long waited vacation especially because I'm going to see my mom. I haven't seen her in two years because she lives back in Ukraine and like I'm guessing you know that there are some complications. We chose to stay in Spain. We're gonna be in Barcelona and Valencia. And oh my god, I'm just I'm just so excited. Like I can't even describe I can't sleep. Like I have dreams about vacation. So that's how excited I am. But I'm not here to talk about my vacation. I'm doing this video two days prior my flight and I'm packing all my skincare. I want to show that to you and also to tell you what you should expect from your skin or to be ready for when you are on vacation. First and the most important are basics. You take everything you use daily, everything that your skin loves and feels comfortable with. It doesn't have to be complicated, it could be just the base minimum. A gentle cleanser, serum, moisturizer and your sunscreen. Plus your acne medication, if you have any, that you use at this moment. Well, my base minimum is not such a minimum. I like to be prepared for everything. So I'm always taking some micellar water and oil cleanser. Micellar water is primarily for my mom. Maybe I'll use it, maybe not, we'll see. But this is what I'm taking for me, absolutely yes. My gentle cleanser and acne cleanser with benzoyl peroxide because that's what I need to keep my acne at the bay. And I will absolutely not go anywhere without it. The next product that you will never see me anywhere without is snail mucin. You know how much I love it. There is no need to tell you more. This is the best. Some vitamin C and then I have these sets. I have a toner, a serum, another toner and another serum. I'm super happy I bought just the travel sizes on both of them uh, because, uh, you know, they are not quite as amazing as I expected them to be. They're just good. They do what they need to do, but the price a little bit pricey and I want to look for something that if it costs that much I will absolutely love it or something that I will love maybe just as much as this ones but at a cheaper price that would be also ideal and my moisturizers I have a hydrating gel with propolis and aloe and I have a rich repairing cream I love them both I use them both daily if not every other day and they are absolute favorites right now now what you should be ready for on the vacation three most common events that happen are your skin gets stressed, inflammations, or sunburn. Why would your or mine skin be suddenly stressed and what does that look like? The first stress factor for our skin is the flight, especially long distance flight. Because the air there is extremely dry, it is from 20 to 50% drier than what we have right now here. In addition to that, we usually have a lack of sleep. The food that they serve there isn't the best, especially after COVID, they've cut all the protein and replaced it with pastas and breads, with questionable uh, butter and jam, all the snacks and sweets that we love eating while we travel. And some people get really dehydrated because they forget to drink water. That happens to all of us, but everything that I just mentioned cannot be good for our skin. In addition, let's not forget about the change of climate. That, without a doubt, is a very stressful event for our skin. It might result in our skin being dry, sensitive, irritated or dull. For example, my skin after long distance flights, I'm talking about like 16-20 hours of traveling, is extremely dull and dehydrated. And it just refuses to show any signs of life. And when it does, it does it by giving me those little red pimples that appear just out of nowhere. You probably know how your skin reacts to a sudden change, but dullness, irritation, dryness, and sensitivity are most common skin conditions. So definitely take your favorite serum, moisturizer, some barrier repairing products would be really good if you have any. If not, not a big deal, just stick to what you have right now and use that because you don't want to introduce a new product to a stressed skin. I lately fell in love with Calming Serum by Beauty of Johnson and oh, I just recently bought the full size of it at Marshalls, by the way, for $10. Isn't that great? It's good for anything from calming your skin to preventing acne than these babies I told you about already. Propolis is good for dry skin and Sika Serum is really great for repairing your skin. And then a repairing moisturizer would be good for any of those conditions. You don't want to use a lot of products, especially actives, 
on stressed skin because you might get an opposite reaction of what you're hoping for. The second skin state that you should be ready for are inflammations, especially if you have an acne prone skin. Now, there are quite a few reasons why you might have some sudden or unexpected breakouts on our face. First of all, that might be if you are still in the process of fighting your existing acne, even though you don't want it, especially on vacation, it will still most likely be happening in the same way that it is right now, whether it's a few pimples a month, a few pimples a week or a day, so please be ready for that. Other triggers for unexpected breakouts while we are traveling might be the food. We tend to let ourselves enjoy everything delicious there is in our way, as we should. That could be pasta, pizza, sweets, gelato, everything. And we often eat outside at the restaurant. And that means lots of sauces and unknown oils that they use to prepare the meals. So food is the number one, the most common reason. There also is a rapid change of climate that our skin needs to adjust to. And especially if it's a tropical climate or a place where it's a lot more humid than what we're used to. And that increases the oil production that potentially leads to oily skin, to our pores being clogged, filling with all the oil and dead skin cells, bacteria thriving and our sebaceous glands are getting inflamed. That can happen even without the increased humidity or tropics. Could also be just because we're always on the go, exploring everything and the inevitable happens. We are sweating more than usually. So I would recommend to stick to a current acne treatment or preventative skincare that you use right now and of course some spot treatment to get rid of those pimples as fast as possible. In my case, those are five products, benzoyl peroxide face cleanser, sulfur-based mask, and the spot treatments I use 5% benzoyl peroxide lotion, centella blemish cream that has zinc in it, and of course some patches. I personally prefer the ones that also have some actives in it, like these ones have tea tree oil and salicylic acid, so that they're not just getting all the pus away and protecting it from all the bacteria getting inside, but also are healing the pimple. The last skin condition is a sunburn. It happens to people all the time, whether they are just somewhere next to the water, enjoying their all-inclusive and getting really tanned, or if they're just exploring the city for a few full days. So to avoid that, you should always bring your sunscreen with you and remember the next rules when you're applying it. Apply 20 minutes before going out. The amount should be the length of two fingers. Reapply every two hours if outside, not just the face, but every part of your body that will be exposed to the sun. And your foundation that has SPF in it is never enough unless you apply the length of two fingers. So here are the sunscreens that I'll definitely take with me. The first one is the Beauty of Jocelyn sunscreen. I absolutely love it, just bought the full one. The second one is Madagascar Centella. I only apply it on my body. For some reason, I don't like it being on my face. No idea why. Of course, my favorite tinted sunscreen from Clear Stem. I love it and I apply it every time I wanna go out and even out my tone. And the baby oil with SPF 30 in it for the bitch days. I also want to say that please, don't think that I will take all of these full-size products because I am not. When it comes to these, I will just put them in some smaller containers. I have like a full bag of them and I plan that this skincare bag will be more than enough for everything I want to take. So I hope that everything I mentioned won't happen to you and me while we're traveling, but we'll be ready to minimize the consequences if anything happens. And thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you aren't already. I will really appreciate that and I'll see you in my next video.